You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hardcovers soft. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host Cindy. And I have another book review to share with you, you guys. So, I tried uploading a video last night to YouTube, and YouTube kept loading and loading. Perhaps you guys have seen the live video that I posted late last night. But I did go live for maybe a minute or two um, explaining that's what was happening. Because I couldn't get a video out to you guys if YouTube was still loading and loading and loading. Um, but um, that just means that you guys will have a bonus video today, which you probably have already seen. Um, so that's what happened it wasn't that my computer wasn't working it was and I had edited the video kind of late but YouTube was just not happy or the website wasn't working as well anyway anyhow you guys get two videos today lucky you um and I have another book review to share so if you um have seen me last week I, you know that I am doing a mini series by Kate Cleese called 43 Old Cemetery Road and if you missed it um, I will put the first video up in the cards down in the video description below in case you guys missed it um, I've already uploaded the second video in the series as well <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So, um, this is book three in the series. It's called Till Death Do Us Bark by Kate Cleese. And here's what this one is about. When a shaggy dog arrives at Spence Mansion, Seymour is overjoyed. His adopted parent, Ignatius B. Grumpley and Olive C. Spence, are less enthusiastic especially when Secret, the dog, begins barking all night long. Is it possible Secret just misses his old companion, the late Noah Brett, whose children are fighting like cats and dogs over their father's money? Or does Secret have a secret that, in the end, will make the entire town of Ghastly howl with delight? So, this was a fun book like the other ones. Um, let's see... So, like the other books in the series, it doesn't really have page numbers or, well, some of it does, um, but that's just throughout some of the book. It's not through all of it, but um, this is a good read. Um, I think it's about like 120 pages or so. Um, I'm not sure. I'd have to check um, Amazon to be sure on that and then um, notate it down in the comments, I guess. Um, but this is a great book. This is definitely a cool read. Um, I wanted to do this series actually because of Halloween. Um, because, I mean, check out this mansion. I mean, it looks really, really spooky. And I thought that would have been just perfect for Halloween. But this is the initial book that I had picked up. Um, not realizing it was a series in the first place until I saw that it was book three. So I wanted to do things in order. And I have been. And that's great. So um, I don't know if this is on Kindle or not. The other book review that I said, I'm not sure, but it didn't end up having a Kindle edition, so I just linked to the M place on Amazon where I got it. Um, you guys can find this at your local library. Just search, 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 search Kate Cleese, and this mini-series might come up. Um, so... 
it is interesting the way the book turned out. I'm not going to tell you the ending because you guys may have to read it to be surprised on your own. Because for those that haven't read the book, I'm not going to give away any spoilers because the enjoying the book is what you make of it, really. And if you give away stuff that might um, spoil the fun of other people, it's not fun anymore. So, um, I will just leave the uh, ending for you guys to find out. Um, it's really kind of cool. Um, if you've ever hid something so well that you've forgotten where you put it, then this might be a good book for you to read. Um, I had a good time reading this book. And I'm sorry because YouTube wasn't working. But it wasn't on my end. It was on their end. So, sorry guys. Um, so, I should be getting the fourth um, book in the series very soon. Um, but I also want to say that I also got the Thanksgiving um, book from the Berenstain Bears that I had been wanting to do for the Thanksgiving themed um, book review. So watch out for that. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Keep reading. Don't stop believing. And we will see you again soon. Goodbye audience.